What's up guys, happy Monday. It is a new vlog. I just got really excited because I just got an email that my class is canceled today. That has never happened to me in grad school. In my one semester so far, that didn't happen once. And I'm so glad because I'm just feeling like very unprepared and I was just like, I really don't feel like going to class. It's only the second week of this class too. I don't have the book yet and the only reading we had today was from the book and it hasn't come yet. I just, I'm in awe. I had already gotten ready. I just had to get put on clothes. So yay. So today's gonna be kind of a throwback to Vlogmas cause I'm vlogging all today. It's not over a few days. I already like had my whole morning routine. I, you know, had my coffee. I had oatmeal for breakfast. Ooh, maybe I'll book a workout class for tonight. I think that would be good. So I only have a few days left of my class pass, so I wanna try and use them up. I kinda feel like doing cycling again. I might go back to Flywheel or trying a different place maybe. I'm gonna pick a class and then I wanna talk about this weekend. Okay, we've relocated to the kitchen. Since I don't have anything cooked yet and I wanna get some stuff before I meal prep, I'm just going to make a sweet potato in the microwave actually because it's much faster and um, just have like buffalo chicken sweet potato, a classic. Last night, Tyler and I did go to Target um, and I got some stuff, but I am not the biggest fan of their produce. For when I don't have cooked chicken, I do have this on hand. It's just from Target. They're frozen grilled chicken strips. I want to talk about, I just feel so gross after this weekend. If you watched my last vlog, I talked about how I had like a slice of pizza when we went out, which is like pretty unlike me. Um, but I was just like, yeah, why not? And then my skin flared up really bad and I was like, that's why not. And I had like a couple other things that had gluten and dairy. Obviously, logically, I know if I stop eating it, it'll get better, but it, it takes time. So in the moment, I'm like, okay, but if I just eat this one thing, like it's still, it's already bad, you know? Anyway, so I had a few other things. I just had like more processed foods than usual and I just like feel kind of gross, so. It's one o'clock now and I booked a cycling class at Flywheel at 4.45. So that'll give me enough time to eat lunch here, maybe do some meal prepping. Something else I got at Target. I finally got more baking sheets. So I got three others so I can cook like different pans of vegetables at the same time and chicken. Vital Protein sent me a new product that's launching. I'm pretty sure it comes out today. You can get it on the site. So I will have it linked down below, but I want to show you guys. This is the Vital Proteins Collagen Sports Greens in dark chocolate. And this is such a cool product because I don't, I'm not familiar with anything that's similar to it. And it has, it's like a protein powder in the sense that a serving has 26 grams of protein, which is really good. Um, and it's, it has really good ingredients, so many amino acids. It's made from, like the main source of protein is organic watermelon seed protein, which I didn't even know was a thing. <laughs> Performance blend of, bland, blend of collagen, peptides, raw greens, watermelon protein, hyaluronic acid, and probiotics. So, as you guys know, I don't have a protein powder that I like, that I'm not allergic to. I don't eat dairy because my skin hates it. So I don't eat whey protein. Um, and all vegan proteins are pea protein, which I'm allergic to. It's not that much of a priority to me because I don't have a problem getting protein in my diet, honestly. But I did try this, I taste tested it. What I did is I just blended it with coconut milk and ice, like a protein ice cream kind of thing and I didn't like the taste of it, TBH. I've never been the kind of person that's like a green smoothie, green juice kind of person and I feel like that's what this tastes like. So I'm gonna try it with different recipes. I wanna find a different way to like uh, incorporate in a recipe or something because it has so many health benefits. So Why is this still on? Is this thing on? Yum, I can't wait to dig into this. God bless. I put on my letters because I was cold. Yesterday was bid day at my school and I was literally like sitting there watching all of everyone's Snapchats. I'm not a FOMO kind of person. Like I never really feel like I'm like missing out on anything or like other people are doing. Like I just don't really get that way. But I hadn't felt that really FOMO since I graduated until like recruitment and like bid day yesterday and I was like sad that I wasn't there but you know I loved college but like I really have felt like I moved on in a healthy way but yesterday was sad <laughs> anyway yeah blah 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 I'm wearing my letters I still have these I think I might just stop at like Safeway on my way back from spin class I don't love their produce as much as Trader Joe's but it's all like more convenient so I think I'm gonna cook my chicken right now and then cook my veggies tomorrow morning before I go to class so that's what's happening. So, I'm flipping my chicken. People have been asking like about my progress and like if I'm still 
doing weigh-ins and stuff on my channel and I mentioned a while back like in vlogmas that I didn't want to um, do weigh-ins on my channel anymore just because I feel like it like obviously the scale isn't everything and in the beginning I think it was a good like kind of indicator of how much weight I was losing um, but at a certain point when I was doing muscle building and everything I just like kind of I don't care about the scales much anymore um, and I don't really want to promote that on my channel either. I haven't been consistently weighing myself, bottom line. I actually haven't really weighed myself. I know that I have gained um, some pounds on the scale because I did put on muscle, I think. I just don't want it to like influence my, like how I feel about myself kind of thing. So I want to get an updated body scan first to see the actual percentage of muscle that I put on before I go back to weighing myself because then it'll give me a better depiction of like how much of that is actual fat. Cause like my scale does say that, but it's still, it's not as accurate as like a DEXA scan. Um, because it only is based on like your lower body and I would just much rather, I'd much rather just see the actual stats of an accurate DEXA scan um, before I go like looking at my weight on the scale. I'm in the process of like making an appointment to go back and do that at Composition ID and I'll definitely be vlogging that. That'll be really fun, interesting. I'm gonna be honest, I told myself that I was gonna be cutting by like, tracking my food again but it's honestly been like I haven't really been that strict about tracking it. I am still more mindful and like making a conscious effort not to mindlessly snack and to eating like more whole foods and everything and like I have felt a little leaner and a little lighter not lighter but you know I don't know how to describe it but I don't know I don't think I've actually lost much weight but I felt like like a little leaner and I really like that um after this weekend though I'm feeling like gross again <laughs> like you guys relate to this feeling though where you're just like you look and it's not like you see a drastic physical change but you just like feel lighter kind of I think especially like incorporating more cardio and trying new classes and everything has really helped like mix up my routine and I think it's like kind of shocking my body a little bit obviously i haven't done anything like crazy and i haven't done that much of it um but i don't know I, i've liked how it's been like a little different so yeah so i wanted to do a little update on that on my whole weight situation so someone did want me to do a video where i talk all about like the cutting process which is like being in a deficit um and how that's going and everything and i think i want to wait on that and go back to composition id and like talk to the nutritionist and stuff and like get her take on things before I like go and tell you guys like what I'm doing and how you should be doing blah 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 um, Cuz like I am very amateur, you know and anyway, so I'm gonna finish cooking up my chicken and then head to spin class It's 3 30 now, and I should probably leave here around like 4 It'll be a good time on my way to get the train Can't wait for rush hour really excited for the patch so my car Just leaving flywheel. Really good class, but I'm dead. Lit by the light of the Tesla store, so same. I took a class with Lauren this time, and she was good, but I think I liked Arnie, I think his name was, Artie. I don't know, he was the one from last time. But this one, like, it was good. The music wasn't as good. That makes such a difference. But then all of a sudden it was like over. I'm headed back to get on the metro, and then I'm gonna go to Safeway before I felt really happy through the classrooms and the class finished, so it went really fast. Healthy eating tip number one, eat light bulbs. Zero calories, I'm pretty sure, just out of light bulbs. Like this overhead light has been out since I went over break, so. I got a little trio of bell peppers, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I feel like this meal prep is gonna be kind of random assortment of veggies. Well, it kind of always is random, but like, I actually got frozen. I never get frozen veggies, but their fresh ones didn't look good, so I got frozen asparagus spears that you see. Oh my God. A little like asparagus mushroom bell pepper stir fry kind. Mm -hmm. I got some sweet potato tortilla chips. These are some of my favorite ones because I like having these with like tuna as a little snack sometimes. Um, so these are the Food Should Taste Good brand. They're just the sweet potato ones. They're not like the greatest thing in the world, but low sodium, gluten free, vegan, fun stuff. Then I just got some rice to have to make to hold. Had a nice little workout at Flywheel. I didn't get as many, um, I think they're like power points or something. I don't know what they call them, but it basically is like, oh, power score maybe? Um, but it gives you like a score of how you did like with the torque and the speed and everything. Um, I don't know their exact formula, but 
mine was a little lower. I don't know, like I feel bad because like you guys like me uploading a lot, but like I honestly feel like there's nothing like exciting to contribute. Like my vlogs have been so repetitive because like I literally just like don't do anything. I hope it did clear up some questions you might have had about like me tracking my progress as far as weight loss. Like I definitely think, I don't know, like I actually haven't been that strict on my cutting. Um, when it comes to food, I have been doing a lot more cardio in my workouts, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to go back to like tracking your food when you've been used to eating kind of intuitively in a sense, not like completely obviously, but like, I don't know. I'm kind of struggling. I don't really like looking at my food as numbers too. That's why I was kind of like conflicted when I talked about, um, you know, the idea of listening to your body in my last vlog. I don't know, so that's how I'm feeling with like tracking my weight because I do want to lose some fat and I know that like you have to be in a caloric deficit to do that. I'm definitely going back to composition ID. I'm, I think I'm going to go back later this week so you'll see that. If not my next vlog, the vlog after that. So get really excited because that'll be a really interesting vlog looking at my like actual prog- I'm really nervous that I literally think I gained muscle and I didn't. I just gained like fat. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my little spiel on how much I weigh and why I'm not like paying attention to it right now. I love you guys. Thanks for watching this vlog. I'm sorry. I just feel like guilty uploading these because I feel like they're so bad, but like I forgot to mention that I did book my flight to go back to California and visit my friends in LA. March 8th is my flight. So that'll be here before I know it for my spring break. I'm going for like a week. And I think I might be going to Vegas with some of my friends and then just like hanging out with people in LA, catching up with YouTubers. <sighs> it's gonna be such a good week. Get excited, good things coming. But I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I upload Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday and I'll see you on Thursday. I can't stop.